Howdy folks, Tripster here. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to move files from your host to a virtual machine in PCEM. Also, I will be showing you how to move files back from uh, a virtual machine in PCEM to your host, uh, which is your computer. So other programs such as VMware and uh, Oracle VirtualBox, they have utilities created specifically to make this easy. Like you can create uh, shared folders that are shared between the host and the virtual machine and uh, you can even drag and drop for some of them unfortunately none of those tools exist in PCEM so you have to get a little creative uh, here uh, for my demonstration I'll be using a Windows 98 system so there's few configurations that are needed to make this possible uh, first tab is the virtual machine uh, settings uh, you have the video card you have the sound card and then you have the hard drive uh, as well as other drives that are needed for this uh, so first drive zero you have uh, just the hard drive uh, drive one you have the cd-rom and drive two uh, i'll mega zip drive uh, the cd-rom is needed to import stuff from your host into the virtual machine uh, the zip drive is needed to take files out of the virtual machine back to your host. So those two are needed and I have nothing in the third drive. So uh, mouse settings, nothing special there, joystick same, and then nothing in the network card. So let's start this up. While this is loading, let's go over some of the utilities needed for this. Uh, you will need a uh, 7-zip, uh, I will show you how to use that in a second. And then another one is WinCDMU. Uh, WinCDMU is a software uh, needed to make ISO images. Okay, that's just about loaded there. So WinCDMU is an uh, image creation the, uh, software that allows you to create images on the fly, save them as a ISO file, and then you can import those into the virtual machine as a CD-ROM. So let's go here to the virtual machine. Uh, disk, you can see there's nothing here. Not accessible, device is not ready. Uh, removable disk, that is the zip drive. Again, nothing in there right now. So let's go to my test file here. You can see I have a random text file with some settings in it, and I want to import that into the virtual machine. So we use uh, WinCDMU to make an ISO image so we can import it. Uh, once you install it, you will get a little button that makes it quick and easy. So click to build it, give it a name. Uh, that's a random name. And you can see it made the file for us. Host to image. Uh, from there, you can load that image file. Host to image VM, that ISO. And you can see CD-ROM changed to have a uh, disk in it. And there it is, cars.txt. From here, you can change it, you can edit it, it's there. So, uh, so let's say now we want to take a file out from the virtual machine and bring it to the host. Let's, for example, use uh, this file we made some changes to it and uh, let's give it a name here, VM. So this is the new file. You can see the changes are there. Now let's say we want to take this file from the virtual machine and move it to the host. The easiest way that I have found, you have to go to up here and go to disk and you have to create a blank disk image. 
Uh, we get a little pop-up here uh, with the size of the image. Uh, I have tried the other ones. The only one that I have gotten to work is 100 megabytes. So create a disk. Random name here again. And there it is. So now this image will be used uh, as a zip disk. So go to disk again and load that same file. And this is the zip disk. So before it was showing that it was empty, that there was nothing in it. Now when the file is loaded, you can see there is something in it, but it's not formatted. Do you want to format it? You, you click yes and format it. Everything will be erased, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we have accessed uh, that image we created. Uh, the removable disk is that image that is right there. And from there, we can move files onto it. That file we created, let's move that on there uh, just for more examples. Let's copy some other file, files there. Just an example, of course. From there, we can eject this file. So let's eject it. And this should close. So now there's nothing in it. You can see, again, it's showing empty. So when you go to the host system, now there should be stuff in it. To get the files out, you right click on the image and using 7-zip, you can extract it. Seems like one of the files was corrupt here. It's uh, one of the icons, so I will ignore it, but you may need to repeat the process. Now let's go to the extracted file here. Uh, you can see all three icons are there and the text file. Let's open that up and everything's there. Uh, the changes that we made within the virtual machine and then everything's good. Uh, so that is how you move uh, files from the host to the virtual machine and how you move files from the virtual machine back to the host. Uh, if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you need more help, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon.